Hello folks, Pranas is back and today I'm gonna show you how the Airbus A320 performs on Autoland. For those of you who wonder, yes, it can land automatically and it can even do so when the vertical visibility is basically zero and the horizontal visibility is 50 meters. So, we are basically aligned with the runway. Uh, we have about 10 miles to the localizer, so we can start reducing our speed. Oh, just a little bit because I've reduced it already. And we can get the flaps to one. We can see that the flap position is one, the light is green, so now we just continue. Currently we have about 7.5 miles to the localizer. In the meantime, I will further reduce the speed to 170 knots, for example. On the primary flight display, you can see that the speed is already reducing. The auto throttle is doing a great job. We will select ILS so that we have the localizer, which is the uh, horizontal component of the instrument landing system, which basically uh, aligns you with the runway horizontally. And there we'll see the glide slope, which is the vertical component, which will align us vertically with the runway. I'll select approach on the FCU, flight control unit. And this will make the autopilot automatically align on the localizer, the horizontal component and the glide slope, the vertical component. Now the speed is perfect for flaps 2, so I will be selecting flaps 2. The speed is checked. And we have a green light, position 2, positive indication, we are good. We have 50 miles to the runway and about now we can see that the localizer the horizontal component again is alive and the autopilot will catch it right now you can see localizer green and localizer capture I will now set my navigation display to ILS so that I can see a good indication here and we can see that the aircraft is established on the localizer of runway 25 right at Frankfurt. Okay, now for my convenience as a pilot, I will do a PFD, the primary flight display and navigation display transfer. Because always the captain has his primary flight display on the left. We can now see speed in green. This means that the auto thrust is engaged and uh, following our speed that we have altitude in green this means that uh, we are maintaining 2200 feet above main sea level uh, we have glide slope in blue this means that it is armed and ready to capture whenever it's available we have localizer green I talked about the localizer earlier we are capturing it then there is category 3 single this means that we can do a category 3 landing which is, as I said, um, zero feet of vertical visibility and 50 meters of horizontal. But it is single. This means that only one autopilot is engaged. I will change that by selecting the autopilot to engage as well. Now you can see we have category three dual. Autopilot one plus two are engaged with flight directors one and two, and auto thrust is engaged. Now we are almost capturing the glide slope I will reduce our speed to 123 knots this is our final approach speed and as we are nearing glide slope capture I am lowering the gear you probably can feel some shakiness from the gear lowering we have glide slope in green, we are capturing it, and we have three lights for the landing gear. Now what I will do is select the flaps to three, 
and to four instantaneously. Only a few things left. I will arm the ground spoilers so that uh, the spoilers from the top of our wings can stop the aircraft when it's on the ground. I will select the auto brakes to low so that I have automatic braking and I'll set the lights for landing. Now the aircraft says that we are 1,000 feet above the ground. Uh, we already have the runway in sight and you could probably see the PAPI, the Precision Approach Path Indicators. There are four lights. They can show white or red. If you have two white lights and two red lights, this means that you are perfectly aligned with the vertical component, with the glide slope. If you have more than two red lights, this means that you are too low and more than two white lights means that you are too high. Okay, now we are at 400, 400 feet as the aircraft says. We are perfectly stable. We have land mode on the PFD and I'll rest my hand on the thrust levers for a go around or for the retarding of the thrust levers. 200. 100 above. 50, 40, 30, minimum. Retard, retard. And the aircraft made a perfect touchdown. And it's actually keeping itself on the runway. I'll now select some reverse. In fact, idle reverse, because we don't need very much. And we're doing 80 knots. 70 knots. 60 knots. That is 50 knots. I'll release the reversers. 30 knots, and only now, I'm disconnecting the autopilot. The aircraft stops. And that's it. This is how you land an Airbus A320 via the autopilot. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time.